Would you like to have sex with me? It's a no-strings-attached kind of situation. I only want one thing. Your dick. I... Oh, hi. Hi. What is it with boys? It's like you all suddenly woke up with boundaries. <laughs> I've been thinking about your proposition, if you're still interested. Yes. Great. Fantastic. To be clear, I don't want to have sex with you specifically. Just a human man with a penis. That's great for my self-esteem. I feel the same way. You know, purely mm -hmm. pragmatic. Do you want to meet up this week? Tonight. Your house, I'll bring the condoms, you bring the lube. They tracked us down the road. I don't know how, maybe Ben said something. All I know is that Helen's man showed up. He pointed a gun at Ben and told him to get into the SUV. In front of witnesses? It was empty. That's convenient. I don't know what you want from me. I want you to stop lying to me and tell me why Ben is dead. He's dead because you got him out of the hospital where he was safe. He's dead because you thought you knew him better after two fucking months than I did after his whole life. You fucking murdered him. I begged you not to get involved with him. You know about this? Hmm? Your own fucking brother. <laughs> and don't you look at me with that blame in your face. I spent my whole life protecting him. This is yours. You did this. Did you watch him die? Or were you too chicken shit like with my dad? We dragged you out of that trailer. We brought you into our family and you were still too dumb to listen to us. I fucking quit. Because everything is someone else's fault? What about your uncles? Is that somebody else's fault too, or did you no. actually murder them? No, no, I am fucking done. I am fucking done, Marty! You don't get to quit a drug cartel. What the fuck are you gonna do? Kill me? You fucking bitch wolf! I said I'm fucking done. I'm grateful for everything you've done for me, but I'm not your daughter. I don't have to stay in your shit.